This is John with hookahjohn.com here. Uh, today I got two very special guests. We've got Oleg with Art Hookah. Uh, you guys know the company. He makes this beautiful glass hookah here that you see on hookahjohn.com, as well as Hookah Boss, all the way from Russia. This is the guy that I met at the show. If you guys saw my Tobacco Plus Expo video, you'll see that I brought in, uh, I did some um, up close shots of Hookah Boss, but his work takes time. So I want to give him his own special video and time. Uh, hookah box, how you doing? I'm fine. Good, good. Oleg, thanks, thanks for you. coming by. Yeah. Alright guys, take it away. Who wants to start? Yeah, I think Kiro gonna start and I'm gonna translate because uh, Kiro needs some experience in English and I think he needs to train. Yeah, uh, okay, let's start. Today we are preparing the usual cocktail on the temple with the help of fruit. There will be fruit and a little bit of fruit in the cold. Сегодня мы будем готовить на ананасе. Ананас у нас будет э, идти как чашей. И внутрь мы положим апельсин, лимон, лайм, немного сиропа. Вот. И это все сделаем со льдом. Ну, постараемся показать, как сделать э, один из самых простых кальянов на фруктах. Uh, it's one of the simplest way to make. Uh, it's kind of tutorial for you guys how to make uh, fruit hookah like this. Yeah, and um, we're gonna put inside the base orange, lemon, and lime uh, to make it looks much more beautiful, and put some syrup to add some color. Yeah, and Kiro right now going to start to cut the pineapple. It's gonna be our head for a hookah. Okay, uh, Kirill. Take mm -hmm. it away, go ahead, do what you do, and mm -hmm. let us see the magic. Okay. Uh, ананас можно сделать в двух вариантах. Самый простой это когда у нас будет вот эта идти часть чаши, и более сложный это когда боковой ананас, когда вырезается здесь и непосредственно идет чаша. Так. Сегодня мы сделаем самый классический, самую классическую чашу из ананаса. So ananas means uh, pineapple, right? Yeah. And what does masbut mean? Ananas and masbut. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, well, he said something like that. It sounded familiar to me. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, so we can cut pineapple in two ways. Like he do, or uh, like uh, horizontally. So it's gonna be uh, not that easy. You need some experience. You wanna make it flat on the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. So right now we start to cut actual bowl inside the pineapple. Yeah, while he cutting the pineapple, I'm gonna fill up the base with ice to let to make our smoke session much more cooler. Yeah, so while you put in uh, ice inside the hookah, you need to turn it right like this. Why? Because otherwise, like if ice coming all the way down, it can break this part. Okay, that's very important to know. Yeah, it can break. It has a little uh, raised indent so that um, you can put the light, they have an LED light yeah. in our hookah. So carefully he wants to put some ice in. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, hookah boss is emptying out part of the ananas or the pineapple. Pineapple. Фрукты очень удобно вырезать вот таким вот непосредственно ножом. Это сам один, ну это классический нож для стейков, для мяса. Ну, ему очень удобно это делать. Okay, Hookah Boss said if I'm gonna talk too much in this video, he's gonna take that knife and shank me with it. <laughs> yeah, Hookah Boss said like also this knife uh, is simple like steak knife. It's the best of all to cut the fruit inside. It's very easy to use. Okay, yeah. and I like this knife. What do you call this? Like a potato knife? The one that he used to make the hole? Uh, it's kind of a knife for apple. It's kind of to cut the middle of apple. It's like a boring knife. I don't know what yeah. you call it exactly. Yeah, I still fill it up the base with ice. You need to put a, more, a lot of ice until here, guys. Пока фрукт готов, в него можно запихать немного салфеток. Тем самым убрать оттуда излишнюю часть сиропа. 
while you cut in fruit. Uh, after you finish, you can put some paper towels or napkins uh, inside the fruit head to let it dry a little bit. Uh, yeah, and then we put it away and start to cut the bacon. I'm gonna take a little picture of this. Someone texted me, and they asked are the Russians here, so I'm gonna put yes and show them a picture of the table. Сейчас мы будем приступать к табаку. Так как мы будем делать колен на фруктах, табак будем мы немного отжимать. Зачем мы это делаем? Потому что курим в основном на старбазе. Старбаз очень влажный, очень насыщенный сиропом табак. Во фрукте такой ну, слишком влажный табак не нужен. Вот. Мы сейчас немного будем его отжимать и немножко будем его делать воздушным. Uh, right now we're gonna squeeze some juice from uh, tobacco. Uh, right now we're using Starbucks tobacco. Um, and it's really like juicy tobacco. You don't need uh, juicy tobacco inside the fruit head because it's already like have got some water inside. Um, so right now we're gonna see how Kiro make it. Yeah, today is going to be a mix of Starbucks tobacco and um, a little bit of Alfaker. What is the name? This is berry. Yeah, Alfaker berry. And uh, which Starbucks flavor do we use? We use the, the blue mist. Blue mist. And what else? Pomberry. Blue mist, pomberry, and I think Antalupa. So, blue mist. Palmberry, palmberry and cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, yeah. Ну вот как мы видим, такой табак он, ну, не подходит для для приготовления колена на фрукте, так как у него очень большие листья, он очень влажный, очень скомканный. Сейчас мы сделаем из него более воздушный. Now it looks like he's gonna. Awesome. No, never mind. All right, looks like he's gonna squeeze out. Some of the juice, yeah. maybe to dry it a little bit. Dry it out just a little bit. We used to do this a long time ago. A long time ago, we used to actually take a handful yeah. of it and run it under the water in the sink. Yeah. That's too much. It takes out too much. Yeah. Juice. This is the best way. You use a um, paper the towel, paper and it towel, just yeah. it just uh, takes out a little bit of the juice. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if this pineapple is in the way. I'm gonna move it so we can see. Do you need it now? Ну вот уже немного он подсушился. Сейчас мы по помощи вот подобного ножа мы не только сделаем его воздушным, но мы еще и хорошо смешаем табаки. You're gonna chop it up like you chop parsley when you make tabbouleh. You guys know what tabbouleh is? Yeah. Okay. When you get the parsley for tabbouleh, you chop it the same way. Oh, okay. Do they have tabbouleh in Russia? You know what tabbouleh is? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, probably yes. <laughs> now hookah boss is making sure we have enough berry. Не всегда бак получается слишком сухой. Можно немного взять и добавить в банки более влажного табака и также промешать. Yeah. If while we're cutting tobacco, you notice that it's too dry, like over dry. You can add from a can, uh, from a can of tobacco, you can add some new fresh one, juicy, and mix it a little bit. Now, one thing I learned at the show, before I never cared for glass hookahs, I never cared for um, too much for fruit bowls, but after watching uh, Hookah Bus do this, it got me interested. It's very time consuming, so I won't do it every day, but I'm glad that you're here to show us how to do it, and I might do it once in a while because it looks kind of interesting and fun. It's a hobby. It's not just yeah. like a quick smoke. Um, it's a good presentation. He's going to use a lot of tobacco, so how long will the fruit bowl last? На фрукте, в принципе, я уверен, что где-то вкус будет чувствоваться час полтора, сто процентов. Потом уже дальше, я думаю, что будет просто идти дым, как такого вкуса уже 
Ну, я думаю, что после часа вкус уже потихоньку будет теряться у фрукта. So for this particular head you're gonna feel the flavor for one hour or one hour and a half, but uh, after one hour it starts to like, uh, yeah, you will not feel the flavor so rich. So, uh, but anyway, fruit bowl will last much way longer than the normal one. Табак у нас получился, как видите, очень сильно воздушный. Это табак, который будет хорошо пропускать воздух. И в силу того, что мы вот так вот шинкуем его, он очень хорошо смешивается. То есть это, я считаю, самый идеальный способ для смешивания различных марок табака. Ну и просто для смешивания различных вкусов. Это идеальный вариант, это гораздо лучше, гораздо интереснее, нежели чем смешивать в руке, допустим, как многие делают, или еще каким-то образом. So to mix the tobacco by cutting it, by chopping, it's much way better uh, to mix the flavors because like all the leaves mix with each other. It's not like you mixing with a hand. And uh, also you see, um, a tobacco we cut it in really like small pieces, so it will let the air go through much way e easily. Okay. So the finer chop makes it easier to get. Дырки, чтобы у нас табак не попадал внутрь, не попадал в шахту, нам нужно было как-то как сделать сеточку. Очень многие делают сеточку из э, сбочисток, это выглядит ну, примерно вот, э, подобным родом, то есть они выкладывают его вот так вот. Вот. Но это очень, я считаю, что это очень э, энергозатратное дело. Я предлагаю сделать вам из ее из обычной сетки. Я сейчас покажу, как делать э, сеточку для дырочки. Я, мы делаем сетку из вот подобных, э, это ну, по-русски называется металлическая губка. Вот у меня уже готовый вариант, я сейчас покажу, как это получается. Right now we have steel wool and he's showing us yeah, what he's going to be doing with the steel wool. Okay. It is two way to make um, the battery life. To make kind of screen Funny. here to net, uh, to protect the back of falling uh, in down stem. Yeah. So you can use two sticks. Is it, 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 it like it's not the easiest way. It's kind of you need to spend a uh, time a little bit to put them inside. Is the best way and the easiest to use metal wool. Yeah, Just steel wool. Yeah, yeah, steel wool. It's like regular one. You can uh, buy it at any grocery yeah. store. Да, so, потом yeah. мы прорезаем здесь, в принципе, и получаем вот такую so, что, что, okay. что мы делаем дальше. Like this. Дальше мы берем, делаем ее вот таким вот образом. Alright, so we get steel wool and cutting it to the right specifications. I won't describe it too much. You guys can see it visually here. Ну, получаем такую штучку. Ну и в принципе вот из этой штучки я думаю, что можно сделать штучек 6, наверное, даже фруктовых коленов. Yeah, from one piece you can make a up to like six heads. Oh, okay. Heads. Yeah. So you just keep it in the collection of tools. Yeah. So right now he's putting it in. You want to show the pineapple? Yeah, you're done. So just putting it in the hole so tobacco doesn't fall in. It actually raises it. That um, steel wool is keeping the space almost like a funnel, right? Yeah. Did you bring your staple gun? Yeah, but uh, we bring it. Oh, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna let like we're gonna explain how to use a stapler, but today we're not gonna use it. I'm gonna no, show yeah. you much. No, I'll show you. Why you don't much have it? Much way easier. No, no, no. I'm gonna show you how to. I have a staple gun, but no staples. Really? I think it's good. So, and as you see, guys, I already filled up with ice. Now, do you have water or do you need us? Uh, we have bottled water instead of going to fill it. Do you have water with you? Yeah. Okay, no, no, you want more? Yeah. Yeah, get him a couple bottles of water. Okay. I like the way that he's keeping his workplace very clean. Every time he takes a step, he cleans up his workspace. 
Yeah, it's it's what what it's the He's like a chef, actually. I like to call him a shisha mixologist. Yeah. He is definitely like a mixologist or a chef. Так, в принципе, чашка у нас уже готова. Сейчас сделаем немножко фруктов для Yeah, the bowl, the bowl is already ready. Uh, the bowl is completely ready? Yeah. And now what? I, we need just, later we need to cover the foil. And right now we're cutting the fruits to put the base. Now, was Hukabas a chef before uh, Hukabas? No, never. Never a chef. Okay. It's simple stuff, but he does it uh, precisely and accurately. Yeah. And look, he's even taking care to clean out yeah, the... Uh, есть много вариантов порезки фруктов, красиво можно вот так вот серединку обрезать, то есть они получаются такими аккуратными. And you can cut fruit. Мы просто вырез, вырезаем вот эту лишнюю, потому что сердцевина, она не слишком красиво будет смотреться. Taking the inner parts of the orange out so that it stays juicy. Yeah. And also looks much cleaner. Clever, yeah, cleaner and clever. I mean, it really is a is an art form here, and um, there are a lot of little steps that he's taking here that, again, I may not have the patience to do, but you guys might, and here you go. So watch this carefully and uh, check out a, a new method. There's all these fruit bowl tutorials out there, but I have a feeling this is the most complex one. I don't watch them too much because I always thought it was simple, but this is definitely not simple. Man, the guy needs an assistant too. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna need uh, someone in the background to help him out. Look at that. В принципе, техника похожая, как то, что готовят повара на кухне. То есть надо сделать все достаточно просто и достаточно аккуратно и красиво, и проблем не будет. Uh, the technique, how to cut it, is this kind of same like a chef do. I mean, like a chef on a oh, yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Uh, you just need to make everything simple, but uh, looks like really good. Man, you're using, you're spending more money on fruit than you are tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, like, but it's a nice experience. Oh yeah. Give me uh, tongs. So we got lemon, lime, and orange. Yep. Right now, Oleg is smoking. Uh, he's trying for the first time. Starbuzz tea berry. What do you think about this flavor? It's really nice. Interesting. Okay. And I'm smoking a little bit of Tangiers. I think he mixed some choco mint and some cane mint together. Or no, cocoa and cane mint, right? Yep. Um, let me show. Okay. Kirill right now finished with syrup. So he put just a regular one. Can you show the bottle to the camera? Yeah, you can you can use something like this. It, you can buy it any grocery store. Can you show me from? Yeah, just like it's like a fork of tail. If you oh, look sorry. like this, the wrong side. So he's using today roses cocktail infusion, blue raspberry mix. Perfect for raspberry martinis. Oh, Is there any alcohol in this mix or no? No. Okay. Uh, we don't believe in smoking an alcohol. I mean, like it's not kind of. Too healthy. Okay. Yeah, uh, right now he putting fruits in the right place. Let everybody see. Yeah, I like the way he does that. He made them straight, so press it up against the glass. Yeah. Yeah, guys, and one more. Um, you need to use only solid ice, not like crashed ice. Right. Yeah, if you're gonna use the crashed ice, uh, airflow will be too restricted. Okay. Just because then the crashed ice is sticks together inside the base. Gotcha. So in case you didn't understand that, use full cubed ice. Yeah. If you were to use crushed ice, it's gonna make it more restrictive and um, and you'd rather not. You'd rather have more airflow going through. 
Да, просто накидываем круг и можно там любым чем-то длинным или ножом как-то ну, более или менее красиво мы. Yeah, how much, uh, when you go to a hookah lounge in uh, Moscow or St. Petersburg, how much does it cost to order a hookah at a lounge? It normally starts from, I can say, 20. Or it's like it will be a simple cam in a small, small hookah lounge. But if you're going like, to a really nice hookah lounge, um, you're going to pay around like 80. 80 plus 80 is gonna be a simple cam. Okay. And, uh, if you wanna use uh, art hookah or something, it's gonna be like 100. It's not we set up this price. It's like price policy in Russia. Right. Um, How yeah. about to get this particular hookah made? This procedure it's gonna take a lot more time and labor yeah. and and ingredients. Yeah. So how much would this hookah cost? Then um, I don't know. Uh, For this one, it's. I, I can say it's like starting uh, from 100. 100. Uh, it starts at 100? Yeah, starts You're gonna 100. pay. What's the most you've seen anyone charge for oh, a hookah? Probably like around 1,000. No way. I'm not kidding. It's, it's Russia and like uh, we have got a lot of guys who who are ready to pay 1,000 for one hour small session. Wow. They're not like hookah lovers or something. They just like try and you know like for show. Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. 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 Yeah. I need to go to Russia too. I'll practice my uh, Russian, my Russian accent, maybe. Yeah. How's your Russian accent? Mine is getting better. Когда мы натягиваем фольгу на фрукт, лучше всего подставить или какой-то стакан, ну или что-то подобное, ну даже можно вот эти банки поставить, просто так гораздо удобнее натягивать, нежели чем когда фрукт стоит на столе. Yeah. When you put a foil on fruit, it's better to use like a glass or just two cans of tobacco to make uh, a foil seats perfect. Alright, so we're back here and Hookah Boss is putting thumbtack size holes in this. He's using a thumbtack to poke holes. Yeah. It looks like he's doing not all the way to the edges and anything in the middle? Uh, no, nothing in the middle. Там стоит сетка, и там уже воздух будет хорошо проходить. Yeah, it's like uh, airflow will, will will be good. Yeah, you can use a thumbtack or two sticks, whatever you like. Uh, Kiru prefer a thumbtack because uh, it's like long lasting. Okay. Потом здесь делаем в самом фрукте yeah. uh, три дырочки, ну или две дырочки, чтобы понять потом, куда, куда ее uh, надевать. Yeah, you're making Сейчас. two or three holes here. Uh, just remember. It's gonna help you to understand later where you should put, where you should put it. Okay. Yeah, he's using it for guidance on the next time he yeah. puts the lid back on or the. Yeah. Вот смотрим, вот наши дырочки. Ну сейчас посмотрим. Я думаю, что штучек 6 надо. You're gonna use like five or six coals because the head is huge. All right. 
Для начала можно для раскуривания положить немного больше, потом снять никогда. Чтобы легче раскуривать, можно просто положить фольгу. Keep eye on it, not let it uh, start to burn the bubble and uh, feel hookah harsh. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's taking too much time. I think this is a good tutorial for lounges if they want to use yeah. this method. I mean, it's a really good way to present to a customer and you keep it on the tabletop, you know, where someone's eating rather than yeah. on the floor. Yeah, of course. So. Um. Yeah, you can mix food cocktails, whatever you like. It's only your fantasia, like, Нет. what do you want? Можно сказать, что э, коктейли, которые мы делаем внутри, они могут различаться. А, есть э, коктейли-наполнители, которые не будут влиять на вкус, а которые непосредственно будут только приносить эстетическое удовольствие. То есть это делается именно для красоты. Есть какие-то коктейли, которые мы можем здесь сделать, которые будут... Э, и могут быть красивыми, и могут непосредственно влиять на вкус. На вкус, когда мы хотим повлиять на вкус, мы используем здесь соки, сиропы, фрукты, ну, любой ингредиент, который может дать вкус. Вот. Если мы хотим просто что-то сделать для красоты, да, то тогда плод фантазии не ограничен. Все, что вам кажется красивым, вы можете туда положить, оно будет светиться и будет ярким. Two different types of uh, how to fill the base. So you can use uh, just food for to make it look beautiful, but also you can use a fruit or uh, some vegetables that can give you a flavor. For example, you can use the mint if you put leaves of mint, um, and also if you can chop it like in manita. Okay, a little so bit. So get a little it, flavor. Yeah, it, it's gonna give you. A, Uh, natural flavor of mint. Okay. Uh, you can use a cinnamon. It also will give you a little bit of flavor. You can try to make a hookah uh, on a hot water. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a hot water hookah? Yeah. Put hot water. It's like it's personal. Some of the guys like it. It's not the. Uh, so no hookah. ice, but hot water. Yeah. It, yeah. You put a hot water. You put a tea. Uh huh. Some like Chinese tea or something. And you're okay. Feel the tea flavor. Okay. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah, but. Uh, As I said, it's uh, really like, you need to like it, hot hot water and hookah. Okay, uh, can we get the lights on too when you get a chance there, cameraman? And it looks great. Boss, thank you. И уже минут через где-то 15-10 фрукт начнет запекаться, и уже непосредственно э, фрукт уже сам будет давать свой вкус, будет давать вкус не только табак, но и будет давать вкус сам непосредственно фрукт. So I think that the flavor changes throughout your session. Yeah. Многие подумают, что, возможно, при таком нанесении фольги она будет пропускать воздух, но это не так, как так как вот в этих частях, ну непосредственно вот в этих частях уже непосредственно от угля она будет запекаться и она уже прям очень сильно прилипнет к фрукту и она уже не будет пропускать никакой воздух. Can say that like uh, air goes through here and it's not good. No, it's not true because the um, foil will be hot enough to stick to the fruit. 
So, I see. Okay. Yeah. Right now it's already stick. Yeah, I was thinking that because there's a. Um, uh, it looks a little loose around the edges here, yeah. but what he's saying is after some time, the uh, foil will start sticking to the fruit itself and self seal. Yeah, kind of like this. Yeah. This is a, it's a good flavor. I mean, I can't tell other than what the flavors are because it's so mixed, but it's really good. And you start to taste a little bit of the fruit now, and I think it's going to taste a little bit more. I want to taste that pineapple, see if it goes in. But it's gonna take some time to light this and then it'll last over an hour or two. So this will be excellent. Yeah. And um, yeah, good flavor. And I like it. I'm glad that you guys came and showed this to us. We can smoke this today after we stop filming. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then maybe we'll come back and say the flavors. Maybe we take half an hour break. Yeah. And we come back, okay? Okay. Yeah, guys, and uh, more video coming. I mean, like. Probably we're gonna re uh, record it with uh, Hookah John, our friend. And uh, if you're looking for art Hookah, John carrying them. Uh, yeah, he has got a really good service. Also, please check guys, Hornic uh, Hookah Coconut Balls. It's you. really nice. We use only them. All right. Hookah. Good. So we'll be back. I'm gonna shoot some yeah. more in like half an hour. We'll take a break and we'll come right back. All right. Thanks. Okay guys, so we're back. We wait about 20 minutes. We did some adjustments. He put on a little wind cover that he did himself where he stapled in the foil and made a little wind cover. It requires a lot of heat um, depending on the charcoal that you use. So we added uh, a little bit more charcoal and um, put a wind cover in and we put some foil on top and got it nice and hot. And now you can tell just by the base here, or by the stem, you get a lot more smoke and we've got a lot more smoke going too, and a lot more flavor too. Yeah, you can see it's all white. So when you guys try this at home, try your uh, different methods for um, how much heat you need, and it depends on the foil that you use, how much you want to double up. So it could take a little trial and error for you, but it's right now, Luca Boss did it right, and um, Hookah Boss at his restaurant, at his lounge, how much does he charge for these hookahs to make? For this one particular is going to be 115 115 or 150 150 dollars if you go. What's the name of the lounge? It's uh, Zimaleta Village. Zimaleta Village. Alright, this is a good lounge that we can go to yeah, if you're ever in St. Petersburg. Yeah, Zimaleta is actually, if you translate to English, it's like winter summer. Winter summer? Winter summer and village. Okay, like village. Countryside village. okay that's good. Do you have anything else to say or does Hookah Boss have anything else to say? Да, я хочу сказать, в чем в чем интерес делать кальяны на фрукте, это в том, что сюда идет гораздо больше табака, нежели чем в чашку. И здесь мы можем сделать микс такой, который в чашке практически нереален. Потому что в чашку идет, в принципе, там от 15 до там, 30 грамм табака, в зависимости от чашки. И, При таком малом количестве очень тяжело э, создать очень интересные миксы. Во фрукт идет там, от 200 до 300 грамм табака, и можно смешать 5-6 э, разных, <coughs> разных видов табаков, разных вкусов, и может получиться довольно-таки интересный вкус, и который не получится в чашке в классической. Yeah. Uh, you should put like 150 or 200 grams of tobacco mm -hmm. inside so you can mix like uh, four or five different tobaccos and you will feel the flavor of all of them. Uh, it's, so it's really better to play with the flavor. Uh, compared to a regular bowl, uh, you can put like 30, 15 or 30, uh, 30 grams of tobacco and you can mix like two or three uh, flavors. Um, it will not work if you're gonna mix like four or five. So, a fruit head, you can uh, make your own new flavor, built one. It's a uh, really nice. Yeah, it's a great experience. I like the flavor. I like the whole experience of making it. This is for a nice long session. You know, if you want a short session, do something else. But this, if you want to take some time, you have some guests over, you can put two hoses in this, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, in the art hookah you can put two hoses, you can share it. This is something like impress your girlfriend with. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, you get your girlfriend and you share a hookah together 
uh, show her how you're chopping it up and all that stuff and most likely at the end of the night you're gonna get lucky right yeah <laughs> <laughs> you get lucky so guys thanks for coming by okay thank you, thank you so much yeah. we'll see you guys later yeah. and uh, bye for now get an art hookah play with these uh, heads try to make your own and, um, <clears throat> and that's it bye from hookah John we'll see you guys later yeah yeah